Deputy Speaker and Economic Affairs Committee Chairperson, Congresswoman Sharon Garin. Congresswoman, good, good to see you again. Good morning. Welcome Thank back you. to the show. Thank you. It's a bill easing up foreign ownership on public services. That's correct. First of all, why do we need to do this? Pu public utility is in the Constitution. That's, there's a 60-40 limitation. Dapat 60% at least in Filipinas. Now, unfortunately, there's no def definite uh, statutory definition of public utility. Dati yung public service act kasi yung ginagamit. Yung 1938 pa. So what we did was to define what is public utility. While public service act defines public, service, public services, we define public utility so that we are clear which uh, industries are within the 60-40 limitation. So as a result, um, electricity distribution, uh, transmission, and water and storage lang yung uh, public utility. Okay. And that so opens up the whole industry of telecommunications, transportation, and uh, all the rest. So ulitin natin, ano ang hindi pwedeng uh, dito? Ano ang hindi pwedeng 100 100% foreign um, ownership. Public uh, transmission. 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 Uh, distribution. distribution like Meralco. Mm -hmm. Water. Uh, water distribution. Mm -hmm. And sewerage. Kasi okay. ano yan, magkasama yan. So yan, yeah, those are um, going to be considered public utilities. Yes, Is this something that we can't do on our own? We, we, we have tried. Uh, for example, telecommunications. In Malaysia, there's 100 million people yet, and there's 10 providers. In Thailand, I think there's 27. No, or the other way around, there's 27 providers. providers. We have, how many do we have? Two or three? Three and, now. And our cost per day, per month, is 1,115 1, pesos on average. While uh, Malaysia would be 500. Half. Di lang nakakalungkot nga yung iban yan, 18 pesos lang, really? you know, per, per, or 90 pesos. Other Singapore or even now, no, uh, South mm -hmm. Korea, they're way lower. They're 10% of our cost. But I think the Filipinos need better than that. We need it faster. We're the slowest. We're just slower than uh, Laos and Myanmar, I think. The rest is way faster than us. Why transportation? Transportation, every Filipino, an average Filipino travels and commutes in Manila about 16 hours, 16 days a year. That's about 100,000 pesos per year ang cost sa atin. Probably billions in pesos costing us every year in, in total. And that's because if you go from Quezon City to Pasay, it takes you, what, two hours? Three rides along the way. That's costing our people a lot and our our government a lot. So we need to improve basic service, yung, uh, services that affect the day-to-day -day lives of every So if we don't uh, supplement the Filipino capital, because it's not enough, we need more providers, we need more operators, we need more infrastructure. So it's not because we don't want Filipino capital, but it is because we need more capital so that we can improve the daily lives. But you know. is this government protecting uh, Filipino uh, businessmen? Yes. yes, we are. We have preference Filipinos. We have many uh, safeguards. Uh, already there's uh, Philippine competition, there's the emergency powers of government, there's rules and regulations with the uh, uh, regulating agencies, in LTFRB, diba? They regulate nila lahat yan eh. We are not letting go of that. They should still, and they should be stringent than that. But in the law, nilagyan namin na in case the president, in case of national security concerns, it can prohibit or cancel or, or not allow uh, a merger or acquisition kung nag add yung uh, if it increases foreign ownership and there's a national security. Look, for example, in case you see an acquisition of a foreign company, of a telecommunications company, the president can intervene. 